So, we're here at the Women in Horror Film Festival. Um, I am here. Um, kid with with Ed Lyons, yeah. All right, can you tell us a little bit about your film and where you're from? And... Yeah, sure, I'm from Australia. Okay. Um, a film's called Alfred J. Hemlock, and it's about uh, a young woman by the name of Emily who uh, gets has a fight with a boyfriend at the beginning of the film, and it's the middle of the night, so he throws her out of his car leaves a destitute on the side of the road and the only way that she can get home is through this dark alleyway and waiting for her down the end of the alleyway is a evil entity by the name of Alfred J. Hemlock oh, wow. who begins to torment her the living daylights out of her really. Wow. Okay, wow. <laughs> so, I can't wait to see that. It sounds terrifying. <laughs> yeah, so can I uh, tell me what brought you to the Women in Horror Film Festival? Well, we saw it online and it seemed to have, I, li I, just, I just liked the idea that that was promoting women um, because we had so many women on our film and there's an inequality of that within the industry and there's a big push at home in Australia at the moment just promoting women in film in general. Nice. And my uh, wife wrote the film, produced the film and our lead actress Renee, whom you met a few moments ago, is just like amazing. Um, without those guys, the film would not have been possible. Um, my wife, Mel, basically moved mountains to get the film possible. Um, and then when the mountains fell on top of us, she dug us out and kept us going. So when I saw this particular festival present itself, it just seemed like the perfect fit to celebrate the work that they had done. Absolutely. So I just threw it out there and you know, kept all my fingers and toes crossed that they, you know, we, we might, might get fortunate enough to get in and we got selected. So it was like a, a no-brainer really to get our butts down here from Australia and get down here and celebrate the wonderful work that they did. I'm so proud of them. Um, I got to direct the film and it never would have happened had it not been for the amazing people. So like our, our costume designer, Sarah Hope, she was incredible. Our, um, our set, set designer was um, Stephanie and she was incredible as well. So I was, what do they say, the secret to success is surround yourself by really incredible people. Absolutely. And then yeah. let good people be good. Yeah. You know, don't interfere with that shit. Let them do their stuff. And, yeah. And that was great. And they threw in really great ideas. And even like the creation of our villain, Arthur J. Hemlock, a lot of that came together with the costume. Because when our actor, Tristan McKinnon, he, like instead of just pasting the costume on him, we got him into the got him into the, the actual costume fitting, and he had input into what he was wearing okay. with the costume designer. So they were able to have a dialogue okay. with me about so what feels right for this character. You know, yeah. should I have a bit of this, a bit of that. How does this feel? And Sarah had a lot of input into that, about a lot of suggestions about our, having read the script about how to do that, and that really informed a lot of the actors. As you know, as soon as you wear something different as an actor, you feel different. Absolutely. Even like shoes, like you wear hard sole shoes with sneakers on, it feels different. Yeah. So she had a lot of input into helping him design that character. So. So I, I guess, yeah, it's all those reasons why I was excited about the festival to come down here and to celebrate um, their efforts and, and their wonderful creativity and their genius and to see the other films and to meet the other filmmakers as well. Yeah. And to see it's the other such things. such a collaborative experience here so far. It's been great. But that's the really unique about, thing about film is that Unlike other art forms, it, it is a collaborative thing. I don't think one of the panels is talking about that, like who is the author of a film. Um, but it is collaborative. You have actors that come on, like you guys as an actor come on and say, okay, well, there's a script. I'm going to make an offer based on what's written on the page. What about this? And then there's a dialogue with the director and everybody else makes the suggestions. And then as you go through the post-production, there's the editor comes in and makes their suggestions. Yeah. And, it just keeps going. Then we had VFX in our house, so we had a VFX artist come in nice. and make suggestions. And he was funny because he kept shooting himself in the foot. Because <laughs> he um, he came on originally as um, his name was Lucas Newton, and he came on. He's been working on some big stuff like Gods of Egypt. He just did Alien Covenant. Oh, nice. He's now working on um, he's working on the new Aquaman. Okay, nice. So he's doing that, and he said an album. I just want to be VFX supervisor. I am picking up tools. I don't want to do that. I just want VFX soup, yeah. and I'll, I'll make sure you shoot it right, so the guys that are doing all that stuff have, you know, can hit the ground with their feet running. But he was great. He picked up tools and he worked on stuff. And there was some really wonderful stuff that's in the film, VFX-wise, that we got that we wouldn't have got if it hadn't been for him. Because he'd say to me, Ed, 
I'm really going to hate myself for telling you this. Because <laughs> he's at heart, he's a filmmaker as well, yeah. right? And he said, it'd be really good if we did this. He said, now I've just made a lot of work for myself. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to come out just that much nicer. And he'd do it. And he did yeah. it. And he, just, he dug in and he did it. So the VFX was, I've learned that VFX is really hard to do. And it's very time consuming and a lot of work. So I've learned to appreciate the value of get it in camera, which is kind of funny because being a VFX artist, you'd think he'd be like, let's make VFX. He's like, no, dude, get it in camera. Yeah. You don't want that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Keep it away from the VFX. Yeah. You know, get it in camera dude always better yeah uh, even though he's extremely talented what he did so yeah. and what he does so yeah so yeah i was very lucky to have um, a lot of great people around me and um and what a great opportunity to come to this festival women in horror and celebrate that